Are these pirate lookalikes? Uh, no. They're not twins? No. to check in yeah first things first we got to go to the check-in point which is in one of the theaters so we're just gonna join the line and wait our turn to check in. anyone who is separated from the arranged port adventure may be required to be placed in quarantine for a minimum of 24 hours that's not a good thing right it's a very short cruise so please stay with your group at all times. Do not stray away from that. Okay, and we all leave together as a group. They said do not leave your group, else they will make you quarantine for a day. You are subject to quarantine. If for you break a minimum it. of 24 hours. Right. So, essentially a bubble tour it looks like. All right. We are Team Stitch. Hello. They pledge their lives to us afterwards. But don't tell them that. You see that stare? He's been blazed out for hours. Poor lad. They must have fished him out of the sea. That are a part of our Bahamian island. And right over there, if you look past the ships and between the ships and those structures, you can see a mustard building. It's got a little bit of a British design to it. That is called the British Colonial Hotel. It's rumored that Fort Nassau was inhabited by Blackbeard and his crew himself. So technically, as the new crew of Blackbeard's Revenge, if we had them over there, we basically have a right to stay at any room in the hotel that we want for free. So I say we just go over there and take it, all right? Right. Right, right, right. that's the fire spirit, that's the fire spirit. Every second not so smooth 
gonna walk the plank. You're gonna be initiated to be a pirate. It's different. I thought you mean walk. You, you want to walk the plank? Huh? Well, ladies and gentle fish. Okay, well my name is Barbara Lou Von. Now you just call me Barbara. I'm first mate and this is one of our fine pirates right here. Woo! Is that the favorite thing? Don't think about marooning. Don't think about it. Do you know how long I've been in this one outfit? Smitten is you stinking? Yeah. Who raised you? Oh, wait, I am right. I know a clean person, exactly. Clean person. Who was raised by another clean, clean person. person. Yep. Right! All right, then. You can say your name. Right! Oh. right. Swear allegiance. To the ship and crew. To the ship and crew. Of the great Blackbeard's revenge. Of the great Blackbeard's revenge. I promise to follow the pirate's code. I promise to follow the pirate's code. I was looking for a motherfucking worthless galley. Look at me. Sure. 
Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Okay, so for some reason we did, uh, at least I thought we did, record um, the after, like us talking before we got back on a ship. We had sat down, we had took a couple of pictures. No, we did it right outside the ship. Yeah, right outside the ship. I and don't see the clip, long story short. <laughs> I truly do believe that I forgot to hit the record button. And uh, yeah, and we took some, I took some cute pictures with the girls and that's missing too then. I might have those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so the tour is over, as you guys can see. Um, we're about to get back on the ship. And uh, I want to tell you guys about it and what we thought overall. Um, the name of this, as you can see in the title, is called Blackbeard's Revenge Pirate Ship Adventure. Mm -hmm. The cost was $69 for Richard and I. Any child 10 and up is $69 each. Mm -hmm. And then for ages, basically, 0 to 9 is 30, $29. So um, it wasn't badly priced. It wasn't badly priced at all. Um, I Second of all, we booked this like last. 30 minutes before they started. And third, what we, um, a major, well, this is a, a like, not just uh, one of the, those items. Um, what we really, really liked is that it did not leave at 7 a.m., come downstairs, check in. Yeah. And we didn't have to wake up at, we've had excursions recently that we had to wake up at six o'clock in the morning almost five o'clock in the morning yeah, and that's no fun just to get up right we had a whole day yeah and then we yeah. went on this. we did a lot we weren't even going to get off the ship like we told you guys i'm not sure if we did tell you but we weren't even planning on getting off the ship in nassau and um someone that we sat next to dinner the night before she saw us doing the arts and crafts and i said what you doing today and she said that she was going i said oh she was going on a pirate ship mm -hmm. and i said this time she said yeah the it leaves it leaves pretty late at 12 or 12 30. we were like i love that i wish more excursions had that option yeah i think they actually do two time slots they that. do they do i think they have an early morning because i saw one. when they left yeah because we saw it outside of our our balcony and we we're like mm -hmm. oh they're playing soca music and everything and the guy was dancing on a thing but now that we went on the ship and yeah. i saw him doing his thing yeah i could see why he was out there at 7 a.m dancing to soca music <laughs> he is so Hi. much Fun. Yeah, lots yeah. of energy. I thought the work. I thought the people, the cast members on the ship, did a great job. All of them. Like really, like getting the kids involved. All the kids seemed to really enjoy it. They had, you know, some. They played like you know dance music that everyone knows. Typical dance music, line party music. Mm -hmm. um, they did include soca music as well, which of course is always great for the culture for Richard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, Brandon Royce uh, know all the songs. Right, of course. And I love soca music as well. So I thought all in all, it was a great, great tour. I think that if you're looking for something that's not, if you've been in Nassau so many times and you're not looking to go out and walk the streets and explore, and you just want to keep it mm -hmm. simple, and you just want to do something that's safe, and you get off the ship, you go on the, the excursion, it's just right out, so literally, literally right outside the ship. You do not leave the cruise port. Yeah. And for that reason, it is somewhat of a bubble tour, like I said, where you get off and you stay in a group. Everyone on that um, black Blackbeard excursion is all from the cruise ship. So everyone, adults are vaccinated, everyone, kids are tested twice. Yeah. So you feel safer 
okay. than most excursions you can do because it's 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 very controlled. That well, way. babe, now now with Disney, everyone has to be vaccinated on Disney. Well, no, five and up. Five well, five and up. Yeah. I'm sorry, five and up. I forgot about the four and under. You have a four. I have a four year old. But yes, five <laughs> and up have to be vaccinated. So yes, you do feel a, a bit more safe with that because it's it's basically almost like a bubble tour. Mm -hmm. And remember that if you have a child that's four and under on a sailing right now, of course it's going to change. You might watch this a year later and say that's not the same thing. But during this time that we're in if you have a child that's four and under on a disney cruise ship you cannot leave the ship at all without booking an excursion yeah. through the cruise line this one okay? was worth it this was totally worth, worth it. it it was worth it it was only two hours we enjoyed ourselves we had a good time it felt and, longer than that. and they gave out rum punch for the right. adults yeah we got free rum punch they also had beers and stuff that you could buy the bathroom facilities was nice and clean mm -hmm. i i i enjoyed it i would recommend it um i highly recommend it yeah, really. yeah. and make sure that you sit like sit in the area that we sat in you get to see everything yeah I try to get on we didn't even get on first and we still we were, like had, get on last right but everyone i'll tell you what everyone gets on and then they walk go upstairs. to the top yeah because no one knows what's going to happen and we immediately found a good table on the bottom because yeah it was like a bar next to the bar and that's terrible but we found a table <laughs> next to the bar but we, we lucked out yeah so if you're watching this and you're going on that excursion be like us catch that table right there you could see everything and do then, everything and right adults, there. go to the bar and get yeah. look me and richard had us a couple of drinks okay yes. we, we don't you don't gotta drive right so. exactly we enjoyed ourselves so i highly recommend it it was great fun um, I think that even if I did like a different cruise line and I saw it, the girls was excited. Rain was so excited to go on a pirate ship mm -hmm. and uh, I would recommend it. I highly recommend it guys. So Definitely. check it out. Um, you, it gives a rich and jazzy life stamp of approval. We enjoyed ourselves. And if you're a Nassau, check it out. So guys, um, so we have to close it out, right? Cause we That's didn't close it. it out. Yeah. We have to say goodbye. That's the purpose of we're shooting this. Oh, all right, guys. So if you enjoyed this vlog um, on our excursion today in Nassau, please don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up, even if you didn't enjoy it. Give us a thumbs down and tell me in the comments why you didn't enjoy it. Don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <laughs> and Ooh. don't be surprised. I never, at, I've never heard that one. That's a good one. Right. And don't, and don't be surprised at what I say back to you. And. <laughs> Might talk about your mother. Might not. <laughs> And please, don't forget to share this with your friends and your family. We appreciate all of you guys, all of your support. And until the next vlog, which will be continuing on with our day two mm -hmm. on board the Disney dream. Continue to live. A rich. And jazzy. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Guys.